eat too many hot dogs and beans and cheese, then puke, then digitize it. Digital barf. This is Food Fight on Stinker Madness. What's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm thirsty as fuck. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty as fuck. Hey, look at me! You! Thrill me. If you come back in here, I'm gonna hit you with so many rights, you're gonna beg for a left. Thrill me. Beg for a left. Thrill me. Hey, look at me! No! What? Hang on! It stinks. Hang on! Stinker Madness. Hello, welcome to Stinker Madness, the podcast about bad movies. For bad movie lovers, I'm your host, Justin. With me are always Sam and Jacqueline. Uh, I'm drinking. Yep, Jackie has been driven to drink by computer digital animation from 2012. Uh, before we get into that too much, hi, Sam. Hi. Uh, I'm putting the fans to task. I want them to go to a website this week. It's called stinkermadness.com. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you listen to this, you may have already gone there. <laughs> uh, subscribe to us on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, email us. Call us. Support us on Patreon like uh, the awesome listeners who already do. Thank you, guys. Um, do you know where you are? You're on the Stinker Mad <laughs> oh, Fuck. Okay, wait. Let me try that again. No. No. Do you know? You're on the Stink of Madness website, baby. You're going to die. Uh, what else can they oh, do Oh, come there? on. What nope. else can they do there? We usually, I mean, before Listen now episode. they could have. Subscribe. Avoided, <laughs> they could have avoided Axl Rose. Leave <laughs> a uh, review on uh, iTunes and Stitcher. I just don't want to give out all the addresses like always. Just go to stinkermadness.com and start clicking buttons and filling out forms and then tell your mom to do it, too. Call, call your congressman and be like, hey, go to this website or else I'm not voting for you next year. And stop being an asshole. And stop it. <laughs> stop it. Any of them. But are, first, uh, go to stinkermadness.com yeah. and leave a review on iTunes or else. I wonder what would happen if there was just like a stick outside of your representative's door. And if you were mad about something you did, you could go in, grab this little stick. It wouldn't be like a thick stick or anything. Uh-huh. Be like, no, that's a bad congressman. And then whap him. You got to see your madness or else. <laughs> whap. <laughs> I wonder if they would stop doing shitty things and be like, I'm going to get hit a lot for this one. I just don't. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I went and everyone would whack him for something different. There would be a lot of crazy people. Yeah. Just be like, right. whack, whack. Yeah, he wouldn't get much done. <laughs> Why aren't or you? Or she. Yeah. Why all out above ground swimming pools need to be green. What? Uh, mine already is. So I'm kosher. Why not? Uh, but seriously, go to singermandis.com. Putting you guys to task this week. Uh, we want to make a big push and uh, get a bunch of new listeners uh, and then have them get a bunch of new listeners. And, and they tell two friends. And. Then they tell two friends fame and fortune. fortune Are you just on this because this movie was about total domination and and Sneaker Madness is now going to take over the world? Right, right, right. We're brand X of podcasting. Let's do that. (laughs) Let's do that. We're S and M of podcasting. Yeah, we are. We are technically. She is correct there. Yeah. You want to get kinky with us? Go to our website. I think we're more masochists than sadists. Though, actually, we we are both. Like. This we masticize ourselves, however that's a word, and then sadisticize our fans. I just said fans. I would hit people with sticks. Right. So I'm I'm definitely in. Which food fight is like getting hit in your, like taking the stick and then pushing it through your stomach and then going up through that little soft tissue that connects to your nose and then just, Gah! medulla omblagata. I would be the sadist this week. Yes, you would be the sadist. But yes. you are also the masochist because you had to sit through it and get punished. Yep. Sam, I've, I'm going to burn my question right now. Okay. Sam, did you pick this movie because of a girl? Uh, no, it's a fan request. Oh, damn but it. But also, I wouldn't have picked it until I started reading about it. And just reading the disaster that ensued, I was like, I got to... I got to pick this one. Why? I still am... I am not happy about this because this has broken the cardinal rule. 
We don't do children's movies. This isn't a children's movie. Yes, oh, it is. I don't think this was a kids How movie. How is it not a children's movie? It had so many sexy time things in it. A lot of them do. I mean, because uh, here's the thing. You have to have parents go to the theater. And so these men in ties sure. who think that everybody are idiots try to cram in some, oh, let's put some dad jokes in there. That way dad won't be miserable and he'll break his kids back again because they're going to love it. Uh, so they do that all the fucking time. This is a children's movie. It was intended possibly exactly. as a children's movie, but it sort of lost its way. Well, it lost its way in a lot of things, but it's still a children's movie. It's more of a disaster than a children's movie. All of the movies that we review are da- disasters. Still a children's movie. We've done children's movies before. Name one. That the poop monster, no. the monster bud. Uh, that is a uh, tweener movie, whatever yeah. that age, uh, 10 to uh, 13, uh, not child. Uh, what about that movie with the chimp and the baseball? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a kid's movie. Yeah, too. that was a kid's Ed. movie. I don't know, uh, because I'm not sure who Ed was intended for. Ed was intended for children. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then we All did right. that Benji movie with ben- the mechanical Benji looking dog. Yeah. Uh, Okay, Chomps was a kid's movie. Chomps was a kid's movie as well. Yeah, okay. so yeah. I guess we don't have a rule against kid movies. Uh, can we start now? No. No. Mm. As long as they're Some this of them bad. are train wrecks. Like this, I'm agreeing with Sam. This movie was shit. First thing I said to Sam after this movie was over, is like, if you had a box, I would kick you in it. She's... But since I have balls, you're not going to? No, because I wouldn't want one to like get stuck up in there, and then you'd have to have surgery. It'd be a whole thing. And I like you too much for that. But if I had a vagina, I would be kicked in it right now. Oh, yeah. Huh. Nice. You can't kick a vagina up <laughs> into <What>? itself. <laughs> I guess not. She calls herself a feminist. Sam, uh, tell us about Food Fight. Well, we will immediately recognize the name Larry Kasanoff, as this is now his third episode. His first was Mortal Kombat Annihilation and then Beowulf. Uh, Beowulf sure was a lot of fun, but God, Mortal Kombat Annihilation sucks ass. Sucks so, so bad. So one out of three isn't good. Yeah, this is his only narrative film directorial effort. He's oh, really? usually the producer. Okay. He has produced some movies that aren't terrible as sort of like a an ancillary producer, say mm-hmm. uh, True Lies being one of them. Really? really uh, but okay. he wasn't obviously like... Sure. Cameron's not going to listen to anything Larry says. Then why even have him? To go round up some cash. Yeah, I guess. That's it. Yeah. You're, yeah. Go round up some cash. You're the he hustler, does. right? Yeah. Well, I think this is his whole deal here was he was going to make all the cash. Oh. Because of the product placement. I mean, right. there's no way that this wasn't going to work. Uh, Every product gets placed in this ooh. movie. Uh, early in production, Lawrence Kasanoff had declared his new company, Threshold Animation Studio, <laughs> the new Pixar. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. It's gonna be. This is gonna be the biggest. What happens once you get over the threshold? Like that's a really bad name because there's a point that the the threshold is a place that gets crossed. Yeah, it's when the poop, and then the threshold ceases to exist. Yeah, the the poop comes the rest of the way out of your butt. Right, and then it passes the threshold. Then what? <laughs> yeah, then this, I suppose. <laughs> uh, apparently. Almost everybody that worked on this as an animator has had it scrubbed from their credit list by oh, the unions. Sure. Right, right, They're right, allowed right. to yeah. do that because it got auctioned off by the bond company. Oh, okay. That's a nice loophole uh, that they can uh, yeah. play with. <laughs> it was like the fireman's insurance fund was the bond company. Like, So we fucked firemen with this as well somehow. Right. Uh, so that's interesting because the only, like, it, they were hoping that it was crap. Because if it had been slightly not crappy, maybe they would have had to stay stick with the union laws and keep their name attached to it. But sure. they're like, please, please fail. Please fail. Please fail. Yeah. So I don't have to put this on my resume. Exactly. <laughs> uh, there were other problems. Apparently, someone had stolen the hard drives uh, into production somewhat. Who's to say it wasn't an inside job? Like, we got to get this shit out of here. Right. Let's steal the hard drives. But they came back anyway, and we're like, we're still going to do it. So this they, they did it twice? Uh, I wouldn't say they did the whole thing twice. I think they probably had to do 20 to 25% over again. Oh. But one of the things that was odd is that originally they were going for this Looney Tunes look where they were going to do a lot of uh, smashing and stretching and uh-huh. sound effects and that. 
And then because he had heard that uh, motion capture can speed things up, <laughs> he started doing motion capture. But with the shit that they have on screen, it's like two different languages. Like, okay, let's do some motion capture for the Starkist tuna logo. Right. How do you do that? Yeah. Just walk like a whale would if it had legs and was on land. That's Charlie Tuna. Charlie Tuna is his name. Yeah. Okay. How about that? Huh. I didn't know. Uh, he would also, as a uh, misunderstanding how it works, would get some of these, some footage back, and he'd be like, we need to do a retake on that. Uh, that took us three fucking weeks. <laughs> yeah, this isn't like a movie. It's not like we'd be like, okay, yeah. reset the scene, Action! please. <laughs> yep. Let's, let's do that again. Um, we'll just travel up to San Francisco and get some retakes. Sure, why not? He would also ask for things like, that needs to be a little bit more awesome. And could you do that one 30% better? Can you make oh, it pop? Yeah, exactly. It's like, no, we're done with this part. And it looks like shit. And so does the rest of it. Uh, the mid, the most widely accepted number for budget seems to be 65 million. Jesus. Uh, there's another number that says they only spent 43 million. And then there's a rumor that they spent more like 73 million. Either, either let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say they only spent 43, 43 million. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Um, it auctioned for 2.5 uh-huh. and it made 20,000. Right. Uh, Walmart wouldn't put it in the bargain bin. So, ooh. would you, if you were Walmart and you saw this, would you put this in the bargain bin? No, no. Uh, God. Like even then, like I'm thinking, cut, cut their low number in half. They spent too money. Cut that number in half again. They spent too much money. Cut it. Like you have to cut their low number and divide it by ten. Yes. To even, well, you sort of lost your ass on it. Sure. Okay, so let me let me try to grasp my head around this. You know how South Park isn't very. It's not like really high. Well, it tech. wasn't. It is. It is actually now, now very high tech, but, but it's it, intentionally looks shitty on purpose. But I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So, like, let's say uh, uh, comparatively, uh-huh. if you had to do like three episodes to equal a movie of South Park, right? Right. How much do you think that would cost with the system that they've already got in place? Like, okay, so this movie is 2012. So let's uh-huh. go 2012 numbers. But I think they had that the their graphic system in place right at, at that. They started time. using uh, two dimensional animation systems once they were in their second season. I thought to make four episodes movie feature length of South Park on a budget. Why? What do you think they're four million an episode? But they're really like yeah. getting a lot of money for people too at the same time. Right, like, quality over. Just like this person works on here, so they deserve this much because it's a hit show. Right. Somebody could produce a show like that probably for about $500,000 an episode. Yeah, I think so. And uh, I think somebody could produce this movie with high school students in two weeks for free. Yeah, I think so. What what yeah. program do you think that they should use? Just in case, you know. Uh, we... The paperclip from uh, Microsoft Office could yeah. do a better job. <laughs> uh, there's a free one out there called Blender that uh, is open source. Uh-huh. That you could do a better job with than whatever they use for this. We, back in the day, when we first started this, fucked around with a program, an animation program called Min- Minimator, which just takes Minecraft block characters and you animate using it. That looked better. It did. And it was free, and I have no idea what animation is. And by not having a script, the story was better. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how awful this is. The 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 we we tried to place what this looks like, and somebody said the I think it was Jackie that said it's like the Sims. The first one. It's slightly better than the first one. Which the first one, let's put this into context, was two thousand. So it's like if Sims 1.3 had existed, that's what this would look like. And because everything was very polygonal in the first one, which fortunately this doesn't have, you know, any of that problems, but it's the animation is just so shitty. It's not only the drawing and the rendering that looks garbage. There's just people's hands flying around and yeah. they're like they don't look at anything. And their eyeballs don't move. Nobody blinks. Their mouths don't match the words. Like, it sucks. And it probably took twice as long because they were 
didn't know how to use motion capture. So uh-huh. the motion capture doesn't work. They're probably rendering it at the best possible resolution, despite the fact that they didn't do any time on the front end surfacing anything. Right. Oh, yeah. The textures and the surfaces look are the sh- there's no shading. It's uh, pre- everything made. is washed out. It's the crap that came with the program. Right. It's all garbage. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. This is the worst animation I've ever seen. That, I will I will say that. Yeah. This is the worst animation I've ever seen. Birdemic's birds are right about where this thing's at. At least there's an excuse for that. Those also came with the animation they program. They also came <laughs> with the animation program. Uh, but we should mention that Larry's back at it. And what's next for Larry? Oh, no. Live action Tetris? Ah. Uh, what? How do you even make that a movie? Uh, so you they put you in a thing like Tron. This is uh, I, I'm just okay, going to make up right, my own right. movie based mm-hmm. off Okay. Of yeah, go ahead. Okay. It's going to be better than Larry Kazanoff's. Okay, so you're captured because you're a deviant and they put you in this Tron type scenario okay. and these bricks are falling uh-huh. on you. Uh-huh. And the only way to save yourself is to zap them with your little laser gun fingers to get them to turn around and stuff and then stack them so but that the you only, don't get killed. But the only way that they lose you you can't sh- just shoot them you have to wait until they have a single row and then they lose Well you have weakness. to stack them so that you can get to the top so you can jump out That's not the rules of Tetris though I know but <laughs> You have but the top only opens the rules of Tetris the, so, but, but the top only opens to safety once you've gotten so many points. Okay, all right. So you have to clear the level. So what you're telling me is he's going to make a movie about Tetris that isn't about Tetris. It's about Tetris Tron. <laughs> you can't make a movie about Tetris. What is Tetris about? <laughs> do, 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 do. I hope he uses there's the music, too. A castle, I guess. No, there's not. No. The, in the title screen. There's uh, one of those, like, Russian... Yeah, it's a castle. Is it? The so Kremlin is played... a castle? I don't know. When I had a, a PlayStation 1... Oh. I played Tetris the entire game through to the end. There, It ends? It doesn't end. It just keeps getting harder. No. It, it, in the PlayStation version, it ends. Oh, really? And you can start from level one and end uh-huh. the game, like conquer the game. Okay. And what happens? Uh, nothing. It, it just shows you some credits and it goes, doom, 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 and it plays the Tetris music. Huh. And, uh, and the, then you're like, that's it, huh? The N64 gets faster and faster and faster. And then. It's also just you're trying for score because you're trying to like actually make it as hard as possible for you have giant blocks that go all at once. And I right. was playing people that were good at Tetris once. And I was like, I thought I understood Tetris until now. And then I, I don't think I've touched it since. No, probably not. Yeah, that's the way the PlayStation 1 was. All right. Was too. Uh, we've got to move on from Tetris. What else you got, Sam? Anything? Well, I mean, we've got the star studded cast. Yeah, let's go into it. Oh, wow. Well, you know, we got. We're going to start out with Chaz Sheen. Charlie Sheen, of course. Second appearance on the show. Second appearance on the show. Love interest, Hillary Duff. Your love interest? No, Charlie Sheen's on-screen love interest, who's a oh. raisin cat lady. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, evil- What's Hillary Duff famous for? She was on the Disney Channel. She was one of those Disney kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then like became Hannah Montana. Like a, or not, yeah, and then became a, a was pop the, star. She was the first one, pretty much, I thought. like that was yeah. Uh-huh. Like super huge before we should know what it was called. No, whatever. We All right, uh, Ava Longoria, uh, Wayne Brady, Wayne motherfucking Brady, Christopher oh. Lloyd, Christopher Lloyd, Chris Kattan, uh. Larry Miller as a inappropriate homosexual bat. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I thought he was to- supposed to be Liberace the bat. I think he's supposed to be Count Chocula, but they yeah. couldn't get Count Chocula. We'll go into that. Ed Asner and Jerry Stiller, uh-huh. Christine Baranski. Uh huh. Oh, why not put yourself in the movie, Larry Kassanoff? Uh-huh. He's the shit weasel. Right. Oh. Oh, oh. Forrest Leachman, Harvey Firestein, Haley Duff. Why not bring them both in? <laughs> oh, that would explain why shit weasel has so many scenes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then uh, a lot of other people that you'd recognize if you saw their face, but if I said their name, it doesn't really matter. But just yikes. Uh, does anybody have an... Uh, an Oscar here. Uh, looks like Ed Asner won uh, some Golden Globes and some Emmys, but uh, I don't think there's any Oscar people here. So at least Christopher that. Lloyd. No, no, Christopher Lloyd doesn't have an Oscar jacket. Oh, sorry. yeah. Uh, they they thought about it for Adam's Family too, but uh, ultimately he didn't get the nod. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Chaz Sheen is. Uh, in one of the greatest movies ever made, but uh, he's the he's the weakest part in it, even though he's the main character. Uh, so there's right. that. Uh, so I guess that's it. 
Didn't he get a nomination for Wall Street? I don't think so. Yeah, probably I think he's not. also the weakest part in Wall Street. Sure. What about that war movie he was in? Platoon yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Platoon, talking about. yeah. yeah. Uh, no, he did not win anything for uh, Wall Street. The only thing that won for was Michael Douglas won Best Actor. Ah. Yeah. Somebody got something. Yeah. I never saw that. Uh, I don't think. No, I did too. Yeah. Uh, Gordon Gecko. Greed is good. No, I like I like uh, Wall Street. It's good. Okay. Movie. Let's go into this. Foo fight. And we're done. Yay! <laughs> That's what happens. Tell me man. what happens. I can't. Uh, impossible. Uh, there's this store. It's called Marketopolis. Sure. And uh, they're close enough for the night. And when they do, when the lights go off, son of a bitch, there's an entire town of cartoon icons is what they are. Yeah. Slogans, uh, mascots. Product placement. Brand guys it would be stuff yeah it's it's like a character right a character i don't think i don't think it's you can call brand- mr clean a character what's what's his yeah, character dude, his character is <laughs> what's walking his around backstory? <laughs> his character is walking around your house being sexy making your house clean no he's a mascot nice. he's a mascot icons probably yeah, yeah. yeah. uh they live in the store as real things the- at night they come alive and the aisles of the store turns into a city. And the shit weasel gets in the opening scene, right, as we're panning through the city, sure. gets Mr. Clean dirty with shit. Yep. He shits on Mr. Clean. He sure does. Or or was that the Prince Frog? It doesn't matter. They, it's, they, they the shit on Mr. Clean. Prince Frog farts in somebody's face. Yeah. So it's l- unclear whether the aisles transform into buildings via magic or if they believe it's building what is this city it's like once you go into the shelf inside of the products the towns there because later in the movie they do walk across the store and there's aisles and shit you have a bunch of like swiffers and weird shit like that can we go ahead and say that the rules of this universe aren't defined at all no they're Clearly undefined. No, because in the, in the opening, you know, when they're turning off the lights in the uh, very beginning uh-huh, uh-huh. and they're panning through each aisle, Crest has a big um, display. Yes, but it has one of those wheel like in Dutch La- in Deutschland where they have the <laughs> wheel, <laughs> the wheel base thing. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Uh-huh, the wind so wheel. Cool. The Deutschland. <laughs> the Deutschland. We've got some windmills okay, here. Wait. The windmill. <laughs> Holland. Yeah, in windmills. Jesus. Oh my god. It's, it's a not. wheel in Deutschland. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Yeah. Windmill. Here they in come. Deutschland, we put everybody on the wheel. <laughs> the wheel of pen. So Crest has its <laughs> its windmill, right? But then <laughs> she, Crest doesn't have a windmill. windmill. I know, but then Neither does the Deutschlanders. <laughs> but then when the when they, you know, the city pops up, it's not Crest anymore. It's like Deutschland cookies. Huh. It's German cookies. <laughs> there's, there's a German flag, I swear. Come to Germany. You'll love us for two things. The wheel and our cookies. <laughs> if you'll make it to the wheel of pen, we have cookies. If you say you don't like our cookies, we put you back on the wheel. <laughs> and the tofu dragon has like a sweet, like he has followers. There's all these guys out there doing the Chinese moves with him. He does have a kung fu army. Yeah, right. he has a kung fu army that are out there, and they're doing their daily drills together. Uh-huh. And it's like at this giant castle. And I'm thinking, if you're tofu, I don't think that you're out in the front of the aisle. I think tofu is kept like in a freezer. You have to look for it, right? It's with I, I the salads. Yeah, yeah, but it's somewhere cold, right? Yeah. So yeah. tofu dragon. So I wouldn't eat that. Well, already you just know. mentioned, is it offensive? Like two minutes into this movie, you're like, this is offensive. Uh, I was offended when Mr. Clean got pooed on. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not down. <laughs> <laughs> but I like, still there's cars driving around. Like the aisles become actual roads. There's borrowed assets just flying. Yes. Uh, and then let's talk about the citizens of this place, because there also appears to be just people. <laughs> There's just some people. Every time that the chocolate squirrel, which I looked for a week before we did this, uh-huh. the only reference to a chocolate squirrel 
is an outtake from Anchorman. Yeah. It, Brick, I ate your chocolate squirrel, and he's talking about poop. There's chocolate bunnies. There's chocolate bunnies. <laughs> I don't. I can't think of anything else that's an animal that's made out of chocolate. Well, there's moose tracks. That's that's not shaped like an animal, though. That's that's oh. actually ice cream, and it's shaped like whatever it's contained in. Shaped like ice cream. Yeah. Uh, there's only chocolate bunnies. So you're absolutely right. The chocolate squirrel. What? Brick, I ate your chocolate squirrel. Right. Which well, is there's... only in the unrated version. Uh huh. Oh, I was gonna try to put together some cereal ones. Like the Flintstones have their chocolate cocoa pebbles. Yeah, cocoa pebbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Rice Krispies has theirs. There's no chocolate squirrels, though, Jackie. And he's not a little piece of cereal. He is like a chocolate bunny, but a squirrel. And, and he's, he's not even a fucking squirrel. He's like a gopher. He's a gopher, and he's hip and fresh. Yeah. Because he's got a flight jacket and some baggy cargo pants, and it's Wayne motherfucking Brady. Wayne Brady was like, this is everything I wanted to be when oh, I was a teenager. I, I think that this is because this is right an out Wayne Brady's. Aisle. I bet Wayne Brady would kick <laughs> Casson off in the nuts if he got the chance. I mean, a guy that headlined Vegas for two years with a show called "Making Shit Up" is disappointed in how this turned out. You know, not to mention, you know, he he designed his own outfit. Oh, I doubt it. I seriously doubt that. I think but they go found ahead. it. Go ahead, Jackie. I think he did. Okay. I think he was like, you know what? Eight-year-old me that would be watching this would want me to have this outfit. A daredevil outfit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I... why does the squirrel only have like three fingers? Three really big fingers like a pig or something. I, I think you highly overestimate the involvement of the actors in this film. Yeah. They showed up. Went into a room that had a microphone and some padded walls in it and left later that day. And Larry Miller had to come back. Larry Miller had to actually send some in because you can tell there's a marked difference in the audio quality with half of his lines. Uh-huh, like, right. They did callbacks. and He's like, no, I'm not coming back there. I'll record it in my house and send it to you and never talk to you again. Right. And I'm Larry Miller telling you that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So Charlie Sheen is a dog. He's a dog detective. That's his deal. He's basically, he looks like McGruff. And Indiana Jones. And Indiana Jones with a smattering of Humphrey Bogart here and there involved. Periodically. And he's always sort of looking where things aren't. Yes, absolutely. And he is the icon for a cinnamon cereal. Okay. Uh, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch? You just see him on the box and then there's like a little, like you can't even tell what kind why, of cereal why, it is. Why couldn't they just use somebody from an actual, because they steal fucking guys it's like they steal brand icons they do why it, couldn't they just do that the whole time because i don't think the hard drives were really stolen uh-huh i think that there was threats of getting sued yeah and anybody that didn't threat to threaten uh suing them those brands got to stay in the movie so they just like oh yeah we lost the hard drives and really they're just like getting rid of all of their evidence evidence and yeah, swapping like flying fruit bat or flying count chocula for a flying fruit bat sure yeah well you know that uh kosher pickles didn't didn't vlasic. sue vlasic yeah. Vla- yeah vlasic pickles um chef boyardee vlasic star kiss tuna mr clean obviously mr clean swiffer mm-hmm. um crest and the windmills <laughs> yeah the <laughs> german s&m cookies <laughs> I don't see them a lot. Penguin in, Pops in town obviously here. did not sue. Yeah, whatever. But he, it's like Polar Penguin is the name. And I don't, I think that that one's sort of like close to something, but I don't uh, know uh, if it's Polar real. Pops. No, it was Otter Pops. I don't know. There's no such thing as Penguin There was Pops. like a penguin thing. Yeah, though. there is a penguin like line. It's made for children. That's why you don't know what it is because there's your a mom was bad. Thing, Whoa. There's a thing. Oh, that's right. Accusatory. Geez. Of penguin pops and they're made from ch- for children and I wouldn't know what that is because yeah, I was also never a child, Jackie. I was spit out of Seville in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> your mom always bought the generic popsicles. Don't lie. Otter pops. We got otter pops and otter pops are the fucking bomb. So eat shit. Okay. The master race of <laughs> <laughs> the master race of treats. Otter pops suck. Otter pops rule. <laughs> They're great for two seconds, and then all of a sudden you're just spraying Covered Kool-Aid in on your pants. <laughs> it ends up everywhere. Yeah, you may as well just dump Kool-Aid on your carpet. <laughs> Save your, eliminate the middleman. Fuck it. 
<laughs> take a shower and otter pop yeah. and then like get stuck to things mm-hmm. i can't come inside i'm stuck to the door call in sick for work i stuck myself to the wall with otter pops <laughs> i can't come in today help me <laughs> can you just actually come over and give me more otter pops <laughs> if, you, if you have a very large spatula i would like you to bring it uh all right so uh he's doing stupid things we're gonna skip a lot of stupid things because we can't even describe it uh for instance actually you know what we're not going to uh i want to read some of my notes here uh he fights hamsters and a rat on a balloon yeah it starts out with a major crime in the grocery store Uh uh-huh where uh a rat who he's calling a cat in the dialogue Uh right so that got fucked up Uh uh-huh um has stolen some kittens, and if it was a cat in the dialogue, that's probably why they changed it, because they're like, Larry, why would a cat steal kittens? It doesn't make sense they have them, right? <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't know, make it 30% better. <laughs> right. Okay, we'll change it to a rat. Um, you wrote this, dickhead. Uh, so he fights a rat who's stolen three kittens on a hot air balloon, and the rat has hairless hamsters as his henchmen? That aren't the thing? Question. Uh-huh. Sure. What product is that representing? I have never seen a hairless hamster to represent anything in a grocery store. Well, don't store. forget, we can't go bit by bit and say, what is this representing? Yeah. Because they're, they're making it up, Jackie. It doesn't represent anything. But well, what would ha- yeah, hairless what would hamsters it? represent? And maybe they're not even hairless hamsters. Maybe they're mole rats and they don't know what fucking mole rats are, so they just call them hamsters. Uh, Hypoallergenic pet section. Maybe, or like... Carpet cleaner. I was thinking carpet cleaner or Drano, but not Drano, but like an off-brand Drano. Ooh, uh, decon. Yeah, decon. What if they're like little stress squishy balls? That'd be fun, actually. Just squishing a Mole rat. hairless rat? Yeah. Huh. Take it. I don't know. Take they might be representing pizza, too, because... Because I want... Whenever I see a hairless animal, I'm like... Mm. Mm, pizza pie. <laughs> well, they ha- they were like ninjas, right? And they were all the same colors as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. And uh. then later they build a uh, pizza looking antenna thing. Yeah. Maybe. I think they're supposed to be the hairless hamsters of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think that it's just shit, Jackie, is what <laughs> it is. I think you're buying way too into it. Uh, the town loves him. Uh, he's gonna. He's got a girlfriend. He's gonna propose to. Sure. Who is the, the? She's the brand of the Sunshine Raisins Corporation, which doesn't exist. Yeah. Uh, or maybe it does. I don't know. Either way, it's not a real big thing. And she's a cat girl. She's a like a Japanese cat girl wannabe, but because she's not Japanese. No. But it's like she's one of those people that's like really into Japanese culture, so she puts like the mar the Japanese cat girl markings on her face. Is like yatsa. No, she doesn't even, it doesn't even do that. It's just like she's a raisin girl who's a cat face. But she, she's not a cat face. She's got painting on her face. She doesn't have whiskers. She's got cat ears, which you can get on one of those like little clips that you put on your head. Like, you know, one of those arrows that shoot through your head like Steve Martin comedy. A headband. Yeah, a yeah. headband. Thank you. I don't know that it's a headband because you never, it's just. In Deutschland, we don't have headbands. <laughs> they have craft work instead. They only need the one band. It's awesome. Awesome. Anyway. <laughs> Craftwork plays in my head. Yeah. <laughs> it's a we, headband. <laughs> there's another con- Japanese connection because the camera just keeps going up her skirt. Right. Constantly like, whoa, what's, what is, what? Yeah. Did you guys pay attention to where uh, you put the camera in okay. your program? Why is it? But it, <sighs> but in their defense, I, I know that it keeps going up her skirt, but it. They didn't have time to build her genitals. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like a pair of white shorts underneath this skirt. You could also not do that, yeah. Jackie. Like, uh, make the motion go in a different direction. Anyways, uh, so he's going to he's gonna propose to her, and his beaver, gopher, squirrel, daredevil friend uh, ruins it by crashing an airplane, and she's like, okay, well, I guess dinner's over. I'm not going to be in the movie for the next hour. He can't do a loop to loop. I guess that's going to come back later. Yeah. What does that have to do with him proposing? Like, I can't. He was going to make the ring uh-huh. in the clouds heart picture so what? thing. Oh, well, I can't propose to her because you didn't do the loop de loop. Yeah. Yeah. He could have not flown the plane at all and everything would have gone fine. Right. But instead, she goes to help him. And now it's six months later. <laughs> She's six been gone. months later. You know, that is the worst excuse I've ever heard for getting out of a proposal. Like, 
oh my god, I gotta go help your friend, and then just not calling back. Yeah, Ever, like I, Ever. I guess she's gone now. Yeah, Did, like she moved her raisins over to the frozen food section on the end in a very small display so that nobody would ever know she was there. Did the Christopher Lloyd's character show up in between? No, this is this is when Glitch Man comes okay, in. Okay, so yeah, six months later now, and then they cut to something else. Right. Uh, Christopher Lloyd's character, Glitch Man, comes in uh, to the supermarket. He's a real human being. Yeah. And he has Brand X. Brand X. Which he's like, hey, owner, manager, whatever you are of the supermarket, you're going to put my shit in your stores and... You don't have a choice about you it? don't have a choice. Because I don't understand how retailing, wholesaling, and manufacturer works at all. I make Brand X, and I just come and put it in your store. That's yep. not how it works. No. Well, if that is how it works, I'm going to make my own hand lotions and start selling them. Just make them out of stuff that's going to harm people. If that, if this a is- A mud mask. I just go dig mud out of the yard. It's just recycled battery acid. Yeah. If this, If this is how- Stores worked. The stores would be just filled with exactly that. The only thing you would find at stores is crap. That would kill you. That would kill you. <laughs> and it would be like $87. And right. people would be beating each other death to get to death to get the last one. How do we take off as the Americas? <laughs> with uh, our Deutschland cookies. No, Put them in the stores. Yeah. Stop. We've been overthinking this. <laughs> they are very stupid there. <laughs> they love cookies. Just, just buy them. Just buy them. All of them. <laughs> They will sell anything. <laughs> anyway, um, <coughs> at one point, the evil brand, and I guess he's just the product rep for Brand X. I think he's the CEO. <laughs> he's the CEO of bullshit. <laughs> right. He steps on a bag of potato chips. Right. And the store owner's like, this is the worst thing that has ever happened on the planet These Earth. These were good potato chips. Someone... Would have enjoyed these potato chips. It's not even an open bag, he says. Yeah. How dare you, How sir? How dare you, sir? <laughs> but then that's the end of like the whole sales negotiation. Brand X guy just comes in and puts his shit on the shelf. That's it. Yeah. Okay. And Pirate Potato Chip is sitting there secretly plotting for the night so that he can go <sighs> fucking kill Brand X for killing one of his bags. So the bag of potato chips is alive, too? Is that what? The... Potato. The icon on the potato chips. But he's, he's so he's dead. No, no, he's just pissed off. He's just because pissed off. His one of his bags of potato chip got stepped yeah, on. Yeah, he's fucking. He's a pirate potato, and he's fucking not going to take it anymore. That's right. He, uh, that happens in the quote unquote bar scene because I don't know if it's a bar. They're serving milk and potato chips, and that's just a. A, a disaster waiting to happen for that bar. Milk and potato chips? Diarrhea Central. Yeah. Nobody can drink that much milk and not be like, oh my God, I got a shit. All right. Have you ever drank too many white Russians? That happens to you. Yeah, well, no, I get drunk yeah. and fall down. Yeah. I don't poop my pants. And I'm, I don't know. Yeah. Potato chips. It's, okay. He falls, he passes out in his own face. He's chip faced. He's chip faced. Boo. He's drinking potato juice. Uh -huh. Yeah. Which makes He's... a potato pirate drunk enough to fall into cut up pieces of himself. Uh, I will interject that potato juice probably alludes to vodka. Maybe. But either way, Jackie, he's drinking himself. He drinks he's his own a potato. He's an icon, not an actual potato. I think well, he's a potato. Dude, you're inferring a lot about the rules that we just said that there are no rules. I think he's a fucking potato wearing a pirate's costume. He is a potato wearing a pirate's costume, drinking his own piss and falling face first into shavings of himself. Correct. Well, the eyes have it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man! Ah. All right, so <laughs> Chaz the dog detective. Uh -huh. His name is Dex. I'll just we'll just deal with that now. Uh, he has become the owner of this club. Uh, he's retired from being a detective. I won't, no matter what you say, General, I won't go back into that life. And uh, so now he's Humphrey Bogart yeah. in Casablanca, basically. Sure. And the club is named Copa Banana. Yeah, that's my least. 
hateful thing in this movie. I hate it. Copa okay. Banana? I, I hate fine. it so much because okay. I love Barry Manilow uh-huh. and Copa Cabana. Do you think that Barry Manilow invented Copa Cabana, Jackie? <laughs> it doesn't matter. He made it famous. He put it on the map. Uh, you know, he didn't. And now we have Copa Banana. Yeah, the Copa Cabana was an actual place, Jackie. Where? In fucking Havana, Cuba. I thought her name was Rita and she was a showgirl. Her yeah. name was Lola. I don't Lola. fucking know. Yeah, I don't exactly. listen to Barry Manilow. <laughs> and the Lola in this Copa C- Banana, who had the yeah. hair and no. She's got bananas on her head. Yeah. yeah. Carmen Merengue looking. <laughs> Car- Carmen Merengue? Yeah. She's like the pie lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Carmen gonna, Miranda. I'm just going to bitch about this lady right now. Uh-huh. Because in these scenes, in the Copa Banana, uh-huh. she does not have an accent. But then later in the film, they give her an accent. I don't know. Because when you said that, you're like, wait, she has an accent now? And I was like, I don't think she does. She just tried to say something in Spanish without an accent. So she just got some Spanish lines later. That's, yeah, what it's, I think, too. I thought it was super offensive. I was like, oh, so now we're going to put that in there? Mm. Uh, some things happen here and there. Uh, it's just not plant relevant or plot relevant. There's a plot. Yeah, exactly. Eventually, Lady X walks in. Uh-huh. Ava Longoria's character. Hubba hubba. Yeah, right. That's what's supposed to happen. Uh, it is. It is. Yeah, she's uh, Lola from uh, Space Jam. <laughs> Space Jam. Yeah, like oh, a hot bunny. <laughs> you. Uh, I think the- she is so hot, Justin. Her high heels are burning the carpet. Right. That's true. Her yeah. hips are also coming out of its socket constantly. Yeah. No, the render here and the skeleton work is just so bad. It just, she's Thank actually, God she didn't fall over. She's her. Yeah. Her parenting hierarchy is coming apart inside of her. Uh-huh. It is terrible. Yep. <laughs> oh, your elbow came out of yeah. socket. Cool. <laughs> oh, you're so hot. Put your hip back. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Uh, so she comes in and she's like, hey, I'm Lady X from Brand X. And the chip pirate guy's like, oh, uh-uh, not on my watch, bitch. And because uh, you squished a bag of chips or your boss did or whatever. I don't even fucking know, but I don't like you. I think that pirate should have whipped out a sword at this point and stabbed her right in the eye. Then the movie's over. And that would have. No, would she would have lived been? through an eye stabbing. Sure. Yeah. Or they would have found something else to fixate on. Right. And they just yelled food fight and had something that isn't really a food fight. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so then there's a bar fight somehow. It's a food fight, Justin. Uh, it's this not, is the very first food fight no we food have. There's no food getting thrown. It's just people punching each other. But they say, food fight, and then yep. everybody goes to town. Yeah. There's slap fighting. There's dancing. There's your first real glimpse of how poor the comedy is going to be. Yeah. No, I would say when stupid Daredevil Dan sees the lady on the street and then wrecks his plane into the gnome home because they couldn't get the Keeler fucking elves. Yeah. That's when I'm like, God damn it. You can't even get your fucking jokes right. Ugh. And he just crashes his plane because he sees some lady in a sweatshirt. She's what not a, a human person. It's just a little human inside of a imaginary... Grocery world. Is it imaginary? She's the tan box real? lady. And let's say that things work <laughs> She's out. She's not anything. If things work out between them, this shit's like bestiality to the max. Right. Ugh. Like I can understand a dog man and a cat lady who's a raisin, maybe. Not. But a chocolate squirrel just fucking some lady in a sweatshirt's weird. Who is a tiny human? Is a tiny human in a grocery world. These are like lyrics to a 30 <laughs> Seconds to Mars song. Right. I'm a tiny human stuck in a grocery world. Uh, okay. So back at Dex's office, at his detective office, which I guess he still has, whatever. Uh, she comes in, Lady X, and she's like, uh, I'm trying to seduce you. And she's throwing her legs all over the place. Like, and like literally. Rubbing she, her butt up against him. And it comes off. <laughs> And she's like, oh, I'm so hot. My butt might be about attached to me in a second. Isn't this some hot stuff? She's dressed like a Catholic schoolgirl. She's stuck in the floor here and there. And she's not like being seductive. She's dry fucking him like constantly. Right. And like, the weird thing is, too, with that is that her movements 
Like her arms are flailing <laughs> around. All over. Like at any point in time, she could poke him in the eye. It's right. Like when when they were they imported some motion capture, they tried to doctor it, and they just were doing fast click and drags, uh-huh. and they grabbed everything but the hand and moved it three feet. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like well, it looks like what's happening here. Or or the animators uh, were like, here's here's our here's the dailies. And he's like, wait, no, we did motion capture. We need to do that again. It's called motion. Yeah. You guys need to be in motion the whole time. Yeah. Uh, the fucking physics of this goddamn thing are just ludicrous. Um, <clears throat> so he's like, no, beat it. Beat it, toots. Uh, and he goes outside. And outside, there's a bunch of dead Ikes, they call them. Sure. Icons. Uh, the, the pirate, the potato chip pirate guy's dead. There's some other dead guys. We don't really We don't know who that. they are. Uh, like, oh, who did it? Well, there's only two suspects, handsome or Daredevil Dan and Lady X. But Lady X has an alibi. She was with you. Uh, OK, well, we'll worry about this. later. <laughs> Where's Daredevil Dan? He's missing. And meanwhile, there's like a. Fox guy who's the. King of police now. I don't know. Ooh, I think he is. represents Pantene. What? Okay. He's obviously a hair care product of some kind. Oh, uh, okay. Huh. Because he's obsessed with his hair and his flowing locks of hair. Hmm. This is but they also in the dialogue they introduce us to the idea that there's this the sugars and the salties, like they're street gangs. Yeah. But then that never gets really revisited or no. flushed out at all. Yeah. It's like West Side story. Now what for groceries. What oh. happens? They explain what happens if the Icon dies. Then the product is gone from shelves. Uh huh. The product all spoils and it, it has oh, to be pulled from the shelves. Yeah. So that just means that they get a new shipment in uh-huh. and then Potato Pirate Guy is back because he's a new icon with the new shipment of products. Well, that's your. That's really what they say is he's just going to come back anyways? No. Or is that what no. you're inferring? Okay. All right. So that's what would happen if the food spoils. Oh, we get another shipment. More comes. Uh, great. But look, here's their concern within the rules of their own universe. There's dead bodies in the streets. Yeah. And they're like, oh, God, that human man isn't going to make any more money off of these products. Sure. They only care about the money that they don't even get to see, not their friends being fucking dead in their town. Well, I think there is a line later that's like, let's be concerned with the only thing that's important, ourselves. Really? Yeah. Well, they also try to talk about how they're there to protect humans from poisons and things that'll hurt them. And I'm like, oh, bitches, please. You are all fast food items, fully processed. You are not good for anybody. Wait. Maybe the broccoli guy is. Wait. But he only has like one scene. Wait. Wait. (laughs) Is this a propaganda film for the USDA? I don't know. Eat your cereal, kids. Because if she's right and this brand X guy just comes in and starts breaking all the rules and bypassing, say, the USDA and the FDA and the DEA and uh, NASA... Let's throw them in there for fun. Uh, you know, maybe uh, some meteorites Why get not? served up on a plate. Uh, then we're all getting poisoned, right? So we better trust the goddamn USDA about what products they sell us. Sure. And I don't know that that was... I think that Larry's just trying to sell it to everybody. It Even the USDA? Yeah. Like, you guys like this, right? Yeah. Like, oh, we can get some of that <laughs> USDA money. And they're like... What the fuck are you talking about, what Larry? What planet do you live on? What planet do you live you on? You brought NASA in. This. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ever seen the chocolate squirrel in space? <laughs> I think you could do it. Make it look more awesome, though. 30% more awesome. 30% better. Oh, uh, man. He's probably been eating those German cookies all day. I bet Tetris looks 30% better. <laughs> So, Brand X Lady, Lady X, takes over the whole place Yeah, in, like, one speech. Sure. The whole town, the whole universe uh-huh. with, she's got the Gestapo. Yeah. Well, she says, she's- we are 30 strong and we care about you, so we're going to protect you all. Right. Yep. And she's Lady Hitler. Now she's in charge. Yeah, it's very nazi yeah, yeah, how did you not draw that conclusion? They the, have the eagle, the yeah. iron eagle there. She's the she wolf of the SS. Yep. And uh 
I guess this grocery store that only one old man works at is the center of the grocery universe. Right. Everything matters here Uh more than anywhere else. Well, we don't really know that. I mean, there could be a grocery store across town that also is getting products. There could be, Jackie. There could be. But for right now, we're only focused on this one grocery sure. store. But the other grocery store is that Kirkland Signature shit. Ugh! The ones that make <laughs> your butt itch if you use too much of their toilet paper. Oh. And I guess their path to victory is to get Dex. Like, he's... He's the loose cannon that we need to stop from our plan coming together. Yep, I he'll guess. he'll stop us from grocery domination. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna take over the entire grocery store, right? Starting with the laundry aisle because she's laundry detergent. Uh-huh. Yeah, starting okay. with with cleaning products and then moving into food. <sighs> so first they go after the shit weasel. This is. And his name's like Chester yeah, something or other. Yeah, like this was Chester Cheetah. It's supposed to be Chester Cheetah. But then they like changed he, him. He calls him a cheese weasel at one point. He's made of poop. He is a shit weasel. He's a shit weasel. That is selling yummy, delicious cheese ball chips. Nothing Which... says cheese ball like a weasel made of human feces. Correct. Yeah. And his coloring on this character was just so, oh my God, you just Shitty. couldn't get away from it. You were like, it's, it's one of those slimy turns that you hold in because you're on a car ride and then you finally get to poop him out and you're like, oh, yes, thank God. And then yep. you look down there and you're like, what the fuck did I eat? Uh-huh. All right. So let's just uh, address it now. We've got, uh, we've got uh, Galgameth. Sure. Uh, made we've- of poop. We've got uh, Trumpy from uh, Extraterrestrial Visitors. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Pod people. Pod people. Uh, Who else is a poop monster? Trumpy came out of an egg, though, didn't he? Yeah, but he looks like poop. He does look like Uh, poop. E.T. looks like poop. Um, E.T. looks like poop. Who else looks like poop? We got any other poopies? I think those are the big ones. Okay. Uh, and then now. And the actual shit weasels. And the actual from shit weasels. Dreamcatcher, <laughs> right? because they come out of your ass covered in shit. But they are co- actually covered in shit, so I'm going to take them off the plate. Okay, they're off. Uh, Real shit weasels don't count, only fake ones. Only it, fake shit weasels. Who's the shittiest uh, looking, including now Chester the shit weasel? <laughs> I didn't want to vomit as much with the other ones. Every time I see Chester <laughs> the shit weasel and his neck stretches out, I'm just like, Bleh. Yeah, it's, it, I, Oh, that's, that's exactly what I was doing, too. I was like, why is the turd stretching? That is a good point. And like, uh, God. And he was just shiny and. Yeah. He's like if uh, Stretch, oh. Stretch Armstrong was made of feces. Yeah. And f- was a wet weasel. feces. Oh, yeah, wet he's food. a slimy wet feces. Yeah, no, he's gross. Uh, good job. Your 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 cameo yep. director is a shit weasel. <laughs> and he's Maybe. not even a cameo because he writes himself into this periodically. He, like he's every, got a pretty good part. Yeah. yeah, every 10 to 15 minutes, he's there doing something. Right. Do you think he's as glossy? As he is, because he needed to be 30% better. <laughs> that would like, be awesome. He's like, yeah, that's it. And they're like, Larry, we just made you look like walking shit. Yeah, we made you 30% shittier. 30% better, huh? <laughs> All right. All right, so eventually the weasel also gets captured by Dex, and he tells Dex that he saw Lady X and Hans, uh, uh, Daredevil Dan together at her place. So now Dex has got a lead, which takes him to her apartment. Yeah. Or whatever the place. And uh, he gets there and they dance the Lombada. Yeah, I guess because he was an ancillary producer on uh, True Lies, he's allowed to Try to steal the scene and fail miserably. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. And I think it was supposed to be funny because she's knocking everything over. She's destroying a bunch of shit. Yeah, she just wrecks her apartment. And kills her own fish. Yeah, it was not funny. It was not. The and birds it doesn't fit into context of the movie. Put on helmets and say something about like flying into them, but then just fly away. Uh huh. It, it it just doesn't fit in any scenario. No. None of the jokes do. Uh, anyways, she knocks him out and uh, then steps on him. Yeah, and it appears to be like she has a figurine of herself that she knocks right. him out with. Right. Like, we ran out, we used everything that came with the program for an object. Uh-huh. So just make a static version of her, make it one color, 
and put it in her hand. She destroys a statue made out of herself as well. So yes. they did it twice in the same scene. Yeah. I'm just saying, if I can make a bronze statue of myself, I would totally do that. Okay. And I would keep it like, I would have several. I would keep one by my bed. I would keep one at my office. I would keep one in the living room because I spent a lot of time there. And I would just stare at myself and how beautiful I am because it wouldn't actually look like me. It'd be like the ideal version You look me. like uh, that statue of Ronaldo. Or Redondo? What's that soccer guy? <laughs> yeah, the guy who looks like a... Cristiano Ronaldo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see his uh, I didn't commission see... statue? I didn't know that they were making a... St- they are going to No, they already statue. did. Oh, oh, this... he... How did you miss this? Well, he's... This I mean... blew up. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I had figured it was, you know, Portugal was a few years late on that. Like, they idolized that guy. They commissioned a very renowned sculptor. Sure. Who made a uh, brass... Ronaldo. Bust of him. Oh, okay. And it looked like shit. It I looked mean, like um, Baby Ruth from Yeah, he looks like Goonies. Chunk. Oh. Or not Chunk, Sloth. How about that? Like, ah! <laughs> Yeah, I was That's like, whoa. Oh, it, and that guy is super freaking handsome. He's a mega hunk, and his statue was oh. ridiculous. See, I think we say bust. That's funny. Because I was actually thinking at some point, Portugal is going to erect a statue of liberty-sized Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, they they the ended middle. up redoing him. And it looks much better, but I and I think it was a full size statue okay. that they did. So yeah, the, 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 it's it's in Sam. You're just very not caught up. And I've in been watching Portuguese uh, football. <laughs> I watched because I'm actually his kryptonite. Oh. Cristiano Ronaldo is the greatest soccer player ever, unless I'm watching. Uh-huh. Him. Okay, I tuned in for the last game. They're out of the World Cup. He didn't yeah. do shit. <laughs> All right. mm. uh, we aren't here to talk about football. We are talking about uh, food fight. Food fight. Food ball. Yeah. Uh, Why did she step on him? I don't know. That's my big question. Um, But now they're in the dryer. Yeah, he wakes up in the dryer. with Because every grocery store has a dryer. I keep wanting to say handsome Dan. Uh, Daredevil Dan's there with him. Yeah. Yeah, why is... Grocery stores don't sell dryers. No, and they don't have one either. So they escape the dryer via a sock, which I guess... That's how dryers work. There's just giant holes in them that if you grab onto a sock, you just escape into another room. Into another room. Uh, okay. Uh, they find a nose scientist who is gross. Uh, we're not going to, I don't want to talk about this guy too much because it's going to make Jackie throw up. Uh, but he's <sighs> he was... basically boogerific and he can smell what components are in the Brand X soap. Oh, so he's supposed he's got to be some clues. kind of doctor right? right right he's doctor knows he's a science knows scientist oh god this, uh, okay yeah yeah, yeah. i said we weren't going to talk oh. about him and you're like i will drink the spoiled milk i'll try it uh, well you know that's like a buddy sniff yeah so they got to email corporate again they have to email corporate of the grocery chain sure to say, hey, this brand X stuff is poisonous and addictive. Get it recalled. So it's not just this store, Jackie. It's the entire world that revolves around this store. Yeah. This is the center of the grocery universe. It is indeed that we're only one guy works at. <laughs> yeah. He's old and he just really gets sad about potato chips. And doesn't realize his uh, food is alive. <laughs> Yeah. I also want to bring up, too, that when they give the potion uh-huh. to the nose guy, right, right, it looks exactly like poison perfume that is made by DuJour. Wait, DuJour has a perfume line called Poison? Poison. Mm-hmm. Why would you do that? Oh, it was. It, it smells fantastic. But why would you call it Poison? Put this on your skin. It's poison. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm really surprised that DuJour didn't sue the hell out of them for that. I'm I guess saying. they didn't care. Maybe somebody's like, dude, we don't want to draw f- attention to the fact that our perfume, which is made of chemicals, is called poison. And technically, I guess it is. Like, if you drink perfume, it's probably not real great for you. <laughs> I, wa- I wore poison forever, and then they just Did you continued drink it? it for a while. Did you ever drink it? Yeah, they just continued it because well, it's fucking poison. Yeah, every once in a while when you're super drunk and you come home from the bar and you're like... Mm, I'll try it. Uh, <laughs> no, you're like, okay, I got somebody sweet... I don't get laid very much. I'm going to put on some perfume. You accidentally spray it in your mouth. Uh-huh. Yeah, you eat it sometimes. And then you vomit it afterwards. I have never got Old Spice in my mouth. 
Okay, well, I might have a couple of times. It it tastes like, as good as it smells. <laughs> I'm going out tonight, and I just can't pull the trigger on this without having my mouth wide open <laughs> and next to it. Yummy. Okay, well, not all of us are geniuses with a mustache, okay? <laughs> Yeah, because it requires intelligence to close your mouth when you're spraying perfume in your face. I have it is called poison. I have a problem with Febreze as well. It's, ah, it's in my mouth again. You know, ever since I switched over to Chanel, though, I have not sprayed myself in the face. Was Is is Mr. Yuck the Ike for uh, poison perfume? Sure. Why not? <laughs> okay. I actually don't get Old Spice in my mouth either because I only put it on my balls. Right. Of course. Uh, Wishful thinking there, aren't we? For bloat, never mind. Yeah, uh, let's move on. So the only way they can get to the to the email is by going through the store. The that's uh, now not a city. It's also aisles and rows of products. It's now a store again, but they're going during the day. So it, d- during the day, it's just a store. At night, it's a vibrant city of product placement. And this is the busiest supermarket I have ever fucking seen because there are two lanes of traffic going in each uh, aisle uh-huh. and they're going fast. Right. And you know what? I know that when I go to the grocery store, I avoid an aisle if somebody else is in it. Uh huh. It's not like it's jam packed. No. Maybe this is the only grocery store in town. I think, uh, yeah. Okay. The people in the daytime you're expecting to be sort of normal, they're as grotesque as anything you've ever seen. Yes. Oh, God. They look horrible. So they, uh, it boils down to them flying across the entire store on a bottle of grape soda. He surfs in because the, uh, one of the Nazi ladies that is a ham battle hammer, she chases, um, I guess, Uh processed meat. And she's like, I'm going to ham you or some (laughs) shit. Right. And the squirrel's like, I fucking suck, so I'm going to fall in a different cart or some bullshit. Yeah, it just sucks completely. And then the dog surfs in on a closed bottle of grape Very soda. Very slow-moving bottle of grape soda that is flying, flying and can be controlled. By surfing. By surfing. And I, it's not even, it, like, when he does it, when he comes in, it's not ejecting anything. No, it's just- And then after he grabs the squirrel, it starts ejecting grape soda. The lady hits it with the ham and knocks the cap so off. So how is it flying if it's not implied that the carbonation is causing it to be a rocket before? Well, it's just flying grape soda. It's just a flying grape soda and bottle. And if you knock the back of it off with a ham, it's, it's squirrely. They're hard to control then. Sort of. He flies it pretty goddamn good. He does. <laughs> He's acting like an asshole, too, because he's like, oh, I don't know where I'm going. And it's like, no, you're driving perfect because Han Solo couldn't have fucking piloted it into the goddamn office the way you just did. And then we break the rules of the film again, which we don't even know what are because he crashes through the freezer where the ice cream is at, where a man is shopping for ice cream product package, cardboard containers of ice cream. Yeah. Which they teleport into a frozen penguin land? Yeah. Is that just behind the wall or when you shrink down to fit an entire... Because it's not just them that goes into the ice cream. The soda does too. Yeah. He's still surfing on the outside soda, but now he's inside ice cream world. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. And a penguin who is sitting by a fire going, oh, it's so cold. That's Chris Kattan. Yeah. Way to use Chris yeah. Kattan on the penguin. You're like, what? You didn't even let him do anything. Right. Uh, so after all this, they run into the chocolate vampire bat. He's who's Liberace. You know, very, no, he's Count Chocula. He is a Liberace. He's very interested in the chocolate squirrel. Yeah. He is indeed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, he teams up with them for no reason. And they they beat to death a joke with this bat, uh, blind as a bat. Yeah. Oh God! They beat it to death. Where you're like, oh my God! If they say that one more time, I'm just gonna jump at the TV well, and kill that thing. Also, the soul of the internet comes out of the computer, and it's one of those inflatables from outside of a car dealership. Right? <laughs> and it's not even like Cortana or Alexa. Well, I guess it's, this is kind of before them to a little bit. It's. The Microsoft fucking paperclip. It's, yep. it's the email program. No, oh, that would had captions and it would try to help you. This is just <laughs> like pixels that are waving around like one of those inflatables it, outside it, of a car. The motion is the exact same. And they don't, it doesn't talk back. He's just like, hey, can you email? 
the corporate and it's like I am an inanimate object. I can't even oh. talk. Well, it does talk a little bit. Yeah, it does, does it? Yeah, yeah oh. it, it'll say things like pulling up all of the recalled oh. items in the last year. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it narrates. And then for we us. see prune lady and sunshine raisins. Right, they've been recalled. Mm. Oh, hey, my girlfriend's been recalled. Meanwhile, while they're in there, uh they get super glued inside by the SS guy who is also just walking around the fucking grocery market during the day when p- humans could just see them and they're I guess that's against the rules. But it's not even like like Toy Story where if humans see them they flop. They they it cuts off their power of being alive or something. I don't really know how the rules of Toy Story work either, but I'm fine with it because it's a great movie. Uh they just glue the door shut. They just are outside and super glue the boss's door shut, which is also outside because the electrical meter's out there. Yeah. So it doesn't make any sense. He's now never going to be able to get back into his office again. Ever again. Oh, I doubt it. They only used one tiny tube. I mean, those dudes are not that big and they jumped on it. Hey, by the rules of this film, it is super glue shut. Jamie. Yeah, it's forever. What did they call it? Crazy glue? Yeah. Uh, they, hey, you can hang upside down by a hard hat from a 50 story building with crazy glue. I saw it in a television commercial. A television commercial. I wonder if that guy works in this uh, grocery Because store. that's what I want to do is choke myself with a hard, hel- hel- hard hat helmet and a little tiny strap underneath that's held on by two buttons. You've never seen that advertisement? He holds Jackie? it with his hands. Yeah, you've never seen that advertisement. Oh, no. It's, I haven't seen it. I thought you were just making it no, up. No, it's as big as a deal as the uh, Indian that cries about the garbage. Yeah, it's there's oh, the God, Indian. That one is awful. Crying about the garbage, the crazy glue hat, and I've fallen and I can't get up. Right. Oh, I love that Those one. Those are the three. Where's the beef? Is another... Uh, yeah, where's the beef's okay. It's not, a, it's not, I've fallen and I can't get up, though. Time to make the donuts. Yep. Anyways, Mikey likes it. That's a big one. Oh, Mikey. Mm. Mikey was a stud. Yeah. That life cereal sure isn't good, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like eating chalk yeah. in milk. Yummy. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, yeah. So he's like, oh, my girlfriend was recalled. That's weird because of this brand X product as well. It was brand X that got him recalled. I don't know how I'm making that connection because it says there's only an address. and We never even talk about the address on the paperwork, but whatever. It's brand X. They're bad. Yeah. Well, and, the internet tells him. Yeah. She doesn't know. Yes, yeah, she does. No, the internet doesn't know shit. She's like flopping you ever been around. On the internet? We're on the internet and we don't know shit. Oh, shit yeah. <laughs> it's just... We don't claim, we don't have any disclaimer on our website that says, hey, dude, we know Trust everything. Trust this. If it yeah. was the real internet, it would just be trying to sell you the shoes that you just bought 10 minutes ago. Like, <laughs> right. I can't get to Wikipedia because you keep trying to sell me the shoes I just fucking bought. I can't even get rid, I can't navigate through your cookie advertisement, your disclaimer of, hey, we use cookies on this website to see the thing I would came here to see anyways. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So uh, they they shut down the power. The the Nazis shut down the power, and uh, maybe the email where they said, "Hey, corporate, come help us recall this shit," uh, went through. I don't know. Well, now there's no electricity in the store forever. Right. Right. Because the com- comes back on later. Right. Ah. Uh, so, anyways, they leave. They they're not even super glued in there. They leave through a vent because duh, and uh, they head to the club. Well, here we go. Uh. And then this goes on for way too long. Uh, this, uh, the rest of the movie goes on for way too long, but we'll try to sum up. Uh, inside of the club, they have an anthem battle. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. An yeah. anthem battle. All right, Sam, seeing the words to uh, Brand X. I can't remember because I forgot. It was too unmemorable. Brand X is good because it's simple Brand X. and plain. Brand X. Yeah, Brand X. Brand X. We're always name, simple. And Brand one, X. Yeah, that's it. Something like that. And then the other one's like. And the rockets red yeah, flag. It's fucking, we will fight for our freedom. And you can go suck an egg because we are the icons. I think actually the lyrics are. Give Larry Kasanoff the money for selling all the stuff you make so good. USDA cash for me too. <laughs> even though that's not a thing. Brand X. Brand X. <laughs> Yeah, they have a fucking sing-off, and Brand X loses, and I don't really understand what happens. And then they're like, well, okay, but when we fight, we're going to kick your ass. We're like, 
Didn't you walk in and say you were going to fight? Then you had a fucking sing off. Now you're leaving. Also, I don't even know what you are. You're like a lizard man. And who likes S&M, who likes to be punished. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he, he totally alludes to like pissing his pants later. Right. Like, I just pee my pants and it's awesome. Right. Like, he's a weirdo. Yeah. And a little kid is not going to understand that. No. No. There, also, there, there yeah. are limits to what you should put in a kid's yeah. film. That S&M. Nazi S&M. A little too far for a kid's movie? (laughs) Weird. Where is the line? I mean, these are blurry lines here. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm just going to say this character crossed a line for me. It's a gray area, Sam. Nazi S&M, you know? know, uh, (laughs) One person's Nazi S&M is another person's cookie monster. Go grab a peanut so we can peel it. (laughs) On on one side, we've got the cookies. And the other side, we've got the veal, which do you want? (laughs) Yeah. Huh. In between, we've got pee pants. <laughs> it's, oh. it's for the kids. <laughs> oh. It's for charity. Because I thought it was going to be like, oh, man, this bestiality is pretty inappropriate for kids. And then they're like, oh, you thought that was bad. <laughs> Shiza. <laughs> Shiza. Yeah, exactly. I was waiting for the weasel to poop in his mouth. That's where it that, had there been another five minutes. That's where it would have gone. Right. And then, you know, Mr. Clean gets his head involved in it. Uh, no. OK, so uh, Lady X sends the army over because she's now got a huge army. Whatever. We'll deal with that. <laughs> Even though her hands still can't control themselves. Right. Yes. Uh, and Dex is on the roof with the food. And here's here's how bad this movie is. We're going to address the biggest flaw the title because at the penultimate scene he yells food fight (laughs) not food fight food comma fight question mark two words yes whereas the title of the film is one word which is not even a thing because if you write down food fight it's two fucking words period sure but it's used in the same context as one verb it's a food fight or a noun a food fight this is two different fucking words so they fucked up their own title and it's not a fight so much as it is a war for the control of the grocery universe between two armies but also the food that is used is just like powder because it explodes in smoke? Yeah. I don't fucking uh, know. Hot chocolate does not explode in smoke. Oh, the smoke. hot chocolate, No, but yeah. the, like the bombs and stuff. Pickles. Is either, like, yeah, so let's talk about this. So we goop. can just kind of get this out it's of the way. It's either goop or powder. Yeah. So the X people, they have cans of whipped cream, uh-huh. pickles, They're missiles ketchup, of whipped cream. Yeah. Uh, ketchup. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then they have what? There was another robotic one. mosquito right, yeah. air force. Yeah. Robotic mosquito air right. force. But as far as food, that's it, right? Yeah, uh, I think they and threw then some other stuff. The well, the general the, is uh, shrimp toast. Eh? Ugh. What shrimp toast? What? Yeah, and he keeps cutting off his pants and stuff. What? It's like I'm shrimp toast. I don't what? have pants on. What? Yeah. What is shrimp toast? What? I don't know. I've never seen that in a grocery store. Our heroes, they do things like hot chocolate with marshmallows, uh-huh. pies. Uh, they try a toaster, which is supposed to be funny, but it doesn't pop a, out. Yeah, of course. Uh, what else am I missing? It's just all sorts of stuff, Jake. It's a giant food fight. I, I, we're spending way too much time trying to define what foods are used. Uh, and it goes on and on and fucking on. And all it does is poof and no one gets hurt. Yeah. The nothing like it doesn't even stick to them. Like, oh no, I'm in the fruit pie and I can't move now because I'm all stick. No, they just like walk away. They tumble and it's like a low angle and they're like, the humanity. Right. They have scratched their knees. And oh, then, they don't even do that. And it cuts back to the lady X and she's like, eat your heart out, Anne Hathaway. My arms are actually <laughs> detached from my body. <laughs> if you've seen the new, uh, uh, through the looking at the last movie, say. <laughs> right. But you know what the creepiest thing about this entire fight was for me is when they go back to Lady X and she puts her foot up on the ledge uh-huh. and then airplanes fly out of her crotch. The, no, the bugs fly out of her crotch, Jackie. Yes. There is no other way. I believe that this was intentional. 
that this is a fuck you. I fucking hate this production. And I the, and an animator put this fucking thing yeah. in there because it does not fit. She's not in frame. It's just her crotch is in frame and bugs are clearly flying out. Yes. Of it. That and is, it's not just a little bit. I mean, it holds it for at least 30 that's, seconds. That's the Disney guy putting a dick in Little Mermaid right there. Yeah. Only this one Nobody caught has it. a label that says there's a dick and an arrow pointing at it. Yeah, but like, this is Larry's like, that is 30% better. I yeah, like I like, like what you've done there. I really it's artistic. Like that Nazi imagery that you put in there. Right. Her legs there. What are you talking Dude, about? I made bugs fly out of her vagina because you're a fucking asshole. I hate you. And I want to be off this production. She I hope it fails, so I don't have like, to put it on my resume. Like a vagina mound too on there. It's like just it's because there's a lot of bugs in there, Sam. When you got bugs in your vagina, where are they? Get, they don't just like you don't have any physical knot problems. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, so eventually, after getting not injured ever, but uh, whatever, they retreat to the club and they're trying to come up with a plan. Uh, so what the plan is, they fly Dan's plane around shit, and that causes lightning to explode anything that doesn't have the safety net around the lightning safety. Uh, what? Everybody takes <laughs> Reynolds wrap. There was they a- make they go to their buildings. Uh huh. They make a, a Reynolds wrap type thing. They right. set it up there so that the the lightning doesn't hit their building. Jackie, can we back? Just a little ways up, just a little bit up, and uh, a plane makes lightning in a grocery store. Wait, but the power's been cut. Yeah. What? How does the? What? The, do I do it? This is uh, the big plan. Is, and I'm, I'm maybe I'm stupid. Uh, go ahead, Sam. Go ahead. The he you before they're like okay, we're going to use a lot of tinfoil, and then they make these tinfoil sculptures of their shit. And then they don't get lightning sized if you have that. Right. I'm pretty sure where that's where the, I was going. Where does the lightning come from? Can somebody. Get, I couldn't tell. Yeah. Give me that. Wouldn't the lightning go to the tinfoil? That's it. I wait. The, so it would. You guys are going on the smallest problems here. Where does the lightning come from? And what does the plane have to do with lightning? It's dropping McGruff off so he can go in there and uh, blow up the fuel Jackie, for the poison. For- where does the lightning come from? Well, you asked about the plane, too, and I was just... Why I knew does the, the plane, plane make from. lightning? How does, the, how does the plane make lightning? Uh, business. Where does... They cut the power to the whole grocery store. What would, how would that make a difference? At least there'd be electricity to explain where there then would be. Then a plane can tap into it and be like... Bzz. Well, I'd be like, okay, well, I guess in grocery world, they can use the building's power to make a little lightning in the grocery world. They bug don't bug a, zappers. They don't it's have, an airplane. The electricity's been cut to the whole building. Bug zapper. I don't know. This is the dumbest part of this whole fucking movie, it, to me, hands down, <laughs> because we have to have a Morgan Freeman come out and explain to us what is actually happening on screen and it still doesn't make sense i don't know that it ever made sense i couldn't i was like why is lightning happening yeah it's a cartoon and, movie the kids aren't gonna fucking question it uh, they won't no kids they're gonna be like oh a lightning storm i go like, oh, okay huh Did they okay you gotta remember that this was a kids movie the kids i thought probably... you said it wasn't a kids movie i think when they got to the s m nazis they quit being a kids movie. <laughs> yeah I'm going to have to agree with that one. But originally, it's supposed to be for kids. So really, the lightning is symbolism for some dark. Uh, yeah. You know. Guess what, kids? When you get older, you get to be poked in the bunghole. What? 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 Is that lightning? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's what... lightning striking you right in the bunghole. What is she? I don't know. Who is, is she one of the mascots from this? Because she I wrote less this sense movie. Than the movie. Wrote what? <laughs> are you jackie what are what are she's, you she's she's the the mascot for violation pickles right violation pickles thank you get yours today <sighs> aisle 50 all right so her fucking lady x building doesn't have the saran Tin wrap foil. yeah and so it gets electrocuted because a plane flies around it doesn't make any sense and explodes it kind of kind of enough but then it like has its top come off and tip 
God, I mean, we're talking about how lightning works, and we're not even going in order. So lightning is striking this building and causing explosions <laughs> it to happen. Kind of rips to it. part of it out, but then later that part's back. Right. Oh, I noticed that too. Yeah. So he goes up to the top floor of this building, and inside is uh, Sunshine, the Raised and his cat girlfriend, lady. whatever thing. And the rest of the Nazis and whatever. And uh, he defeats the SS lizard guy somehow with we, a raisin. I don't know. There was like, he has a glue gun. Okay. And he's going to be like, I'm going to glue this raisin lady that's a cat, Hillary Duff. And he's like, no, you're not. And she's like, catch this raisin with your mouth, dog. And he does. Uh-huh. And then the Nazi pisses his pants and dies. Well, he gets hit with his own it, moldy gun. They want you to think that, but you never get to it see that. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. He just pisses his pants and dies. Right. Or just has an orgasm and is still laying on the floor in there. Oh. Like, oh, yes. And what's uh, weird is that they drag that part out. Like, I think I'm peeing my pants. It's a tingle. I like it. It is warm. I, li- I like it. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's like, oh, that was a way too long scene for that one. I don't and get it. Then... The dog guy's like, hey, Hillary Duff, why are you on ketamine? Right. Because she's all fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she can't even, one eye's looking over here, the other one's looking over there. And she's like, they stole my essence. That's why you liked the product. And then you go, they made laundry detergent that smells like raisins? No one would fucking use that. <laughs> That is true. I would not want to walk around smelling like I was off the grapevine. Right. What the fuck? No, no. <laughs> Raisin fresh laundry detergent. <laughs> Raisin smell. When even... you want to smell old. Like, like, wait, I don't even... Raisins don't smell good. <laughs> What's that scent, baby? Yeah. Raisins. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> That does you can't even make that sound sexy. <laughs> no. Raisins. Raisins. Two raisins, sh- baby. Raisins. Uh, well, that's definitely yeah, that's it. whatever you said would not be sexy right there, Jackie. I was just trying to find a sexy way to say raisins, and by, you really can't. By sounding like Tommy Wizow is not the path to sexiness. Uh, it right. was raisins. It was. <laughs> So they jump on a dance plane because he flew a loop-de-loop, which makes the electricity stop, which makes them be able to jump on it, which is just in the nick of time because the top of the building collapses because of the, the bu- electricity explosions. Yeah, the, the building got blown up, but then it was back together. But then it opened like ketchup, and then he has to fly by them to do a loop-de-loop to get back underneath them rather than them just jump off on them uh-huh. right then. Right. And then he doesn't crash? Nope. Nope. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, so then Christopher Lloyd comes in, Glitch Man. Yeah. He's all over the place, uh, and he, like, wants to fight Dex, and you're like, what's up? He's a human being that's gonna squish Dex, and he knows about mascots being alive, and he's, whatever. But it turns out he's actually a giant mechanical robot with the Lady X inside. Yeah. Which says to me that she was the CEO of her own company. Yes. Which invented her. Then made a robot. Which human. then she, she can't have done both. She can't have started the company who started her. It's a paradox. That's well, like going says, back in time and killing your grandpa. Well, or having sex with him. She wow. says. <laughs> time runner. Time That's to, grandma. She's like, oh. size doesn't matter except for men when you look like this. Right. She She's slept her way to the top. How do you do that, though? She's smaller than penises. Right. Yeah. That is not going to be good. Uh, Maybe that's how, that's how she fits so many bug air forces in there. Yeah. Been stretched out a little. So the board of directors of Brand X, you know, they call they have one of those board meetings, you know, with the men in ties and stuff at the the top floor, and it looks like that office in RoboCop, uh, uh where they like sure. the robots come in and stuff. It's cool. Um, Ronnie Cox, yeah, Ronnie there. Cox. Hey, goddamn it, RoboCop! I hate you. And RoboCop's <laughs> like, what? I'm just trying to be a nice guy. And hey, that lady's butt's coming off. <laughs> She's so hot. She could do anything she wants. 
her knees backwards and she's drooling on herself and her hair is stabbing through her neck. She's the size of my thumb. Also, a guy in the graphics department drew her. I don't know how this works, but let's fuck her. Let's fuck her. Let's fuck her. You, me. Just put her on the table Robo and go Cop, to town. Ronnie Cox, gang bang. Profits are up, guys. <laughs> yeah. And we I see, watch out. Also, our CEO is a robot that she's in. I don't know why I and, and got why, involved with Brand X. Why does she have to have a man robot if she's a lady? What does Bru- that say? Because Christopher Lloyd, they got Christopher him. Lloyd, fuck you. A lady hey, robot would have worked. How dare you? That how man dare is a you. human a lady, a lady robot would have worked just as well because she was a lady. She didn't need to hide behind a man to get her product out there. Uh, mm. Christopher Lloyd is such a talent that uh, he could have voiced the lady robot. They wouldn't Ugh. have made a difference to me if it was a lady looking robot. No, no. Look, voiced work. by Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> sure. Why not? Like, everything else was as bass backwards right. as that. Uh, so originally she was the prune lady. Yeah, she was the prune lady. But she got recalled. She went to Brazil. Because nobody wanted to buy her because she was grody looking or yeah. something. Yeah. She was disgusting looking. She was she was packaged right next to the sunshine raisins, and she got tired of everybody looking at how beautiful the sunshine raisins were. Uh-huh. And her genetically induced prunes were not selling, so she got recalled. Uh-huh. So she went to Brazil, had plastic surgery, came back, bought herself a robot. Uh-huh. Got gang banged by Ronnie Cox, RoboCop, and some other people in a boardroom. Right, right. Got the money so that she could start her own business with her robot man. And started trying to take over this grocery store because she was tired of sunshine raisins. That is a great synopsis of everything. How is it though? I, I have one little problem. <laughs> one little one, question. Little, little, little tiny detail to. How is it that when um uh, sunshine raisin comes over to her and beats the sh- shit out of her, yeah, uh, she beats her back into prune shape, she like punches, she undoes the surgery. She that does. She <laughs> She's like, bitch, I'm gonna punch that Brazilian wax right off of you. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that's not possible. But that was one of my uh, major things that kind of bugged me about this movie. It was pretty much saying, well, if you're old and ugly, Uh then you're no better than a prune and nobody likes you. Nobody wants you. And you have to have plastic surgery in order to be accepted by anyone and anything. And it was like, fuck Fuck you, fuck you, you fuckity fuck. No, well, it's, it's worse. really bad. It's worse because it's like you can't even, if you're ugly, plastic surgery won't even help you. You, you have just, to fuck either, Ronnie Cox and Robocop. You either are born Hillary Duff or you should just fucking kill yourself. That's right. Pretty because, much. you know, ugly products don't sell. Yep. Yeah. That is such shit. It and, made me and so even mad. Even if you're hot, even if you're a hot product, it doesn't matter. You have to fuck the boardroom. Sure. That's it's horrible. Yeah. Uh, this may be that might be the most offensive we've ever dealt into. This is like more offensive than She Devil, which is very very offensive. offensive. No, I don't think that I've seen a movie more offensive than this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's almost over, so let's uh, keep going. Uh, Doctor Nose comes up with a cure for death, I guess. And it's a Pez. Yeah. Yeah. It's, all the brand icons are back to life. Yep. Uh, okay. And then McGruff and uh, raisin, Sunshine. Sunshine Raisin Lady get married. Get yeah. married. Ugh. Yeah. They have a dance at the end. Oh, and no. Then uh, there's two very strange chocolate hippos. Uh-huh. And uh, the bat finally found love, I guess. Ear, ear. Yeah. Oh, he was uh, in the sound watch. Little London Bridges. Yeah. Uh I want to go first. Sure. Uh so sequel? <laughs> no. Oh fuck you. Uh, no. Hasn't it happened yet? <laughs> All right. That was a rhetorical one, so yeah. I'll allow somebody else to take over. How did Sunshine come back? I think she'd been did held she never leave by the Brand X the whole time, yeah. Why couldn't they find her? Like they kind of went everywhere. Like all uh, over she her didn't building. Really and... go into I he, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but mm-hmm. like towards the middle of the movie, he's like, "Sunshine Raisin was recalled. How the fuck else has she been gone for six months? You stupid! Yeah, you stupid! You oh, stupid! He's and also, if boy. she's recalled, she's not there. Like she can't be captured. She's sure. been. Re- they come and get all the products. Well, I think that at some point, Brand X Lady had to get into the internet and fix that." 
She's, she's just like made a FBI it, powers. She just made a JPEG with recall over the image, and that's it. Well, when the internet yeah. comptroller is the inflatable from a car lot, yeah, uh huh, it's probably easy to pull the wool over those eyes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you're getting your information from Infowars right there. Yeah. All right, who's next? How did this thing see the light of day? I think you shelf it, obviously. I mean, when you're even if you're the bond company and you're like, shit, we got to try to auction this off. If you saw it, you know that it's not even worth 2.5 million. It's not worth anything. It's not worth anything. Yeah. I think it was a buddy buy. A buddy buy? Let me help you. Oh, I guess there's always the tax write off angle. That happens on stage one. Yeah. When they're auctioning it off, that's all losses have been right. made. Yeah. You just don't let this thing out. No. Is- However, I do. Again, here's I, I you I, you overestimate the intelligence of men in ties. Sure. And they underestimate the intelligence of children. Sure. They are thinking, uh, yeah, we're let's make what we can back because kids will watch it. They're stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you buy it from the bond. You buy it at the bond auction because you're like, well. We'll buy it for two point five million. We can probably get four mm-hmm. just to put it in the bargain bin at Walmart. And Walmart's like, "Did you watch it, stupid? Right. We're not putting this in our bargain right. bin." Right? No, the 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 men in ties are fucking morons, uh, mm-hmm. and the the children of the planet are not. So each it men in ties. Mm. But uh, but that was their rationale, Jackie. Uh, what do you think that? Uh... McGruff meant when he kept saying the secret is inside. Oh Jesus! What On the, the inside. fuck is that? I I couldn't tell. Was that like alluding to the secret toy that's inside cereal boxes? Maybe because that's where yeah. he comes from. That's a better connection than I could make. Or is it like you should believe in yourself? I think because it's both. Yeah. You really don't get the you should believe in yourself thing. No. It, it just means hey, stick your hand in the cereal box and get what's inside because that's it's probably a baseball card. Yeah. Secreting. You don't want to share that with your siblings. Secret Fuck them. Secret ingredient, maybe? Maybe. It's mm. irrelevant and I did not like that. Isn't gonna stick with me. <laughs> the secret is on the inside right. of the that's, USDA where all that sweet cash is. That's what you say to people that you don't really want to talk to, and they're like, What should I do? And the secret's in the inside. Uh, and now then I'm just, leaving. Yeah, and then you just <laughs> run away. Like, I've gotta take a poo, I gotta go. The secret's in the inside, and you run off. Like I think you should start using it at work, Jackie. I'm going to totally start using that at work. <laughs> like, hey, the secret's in the inside. And they'll be like, what does that mean? That's my plan. And then you're like, it's a fucking secret. I can't tell you. Yeah. You need to find it. It's on you the need, inside. Yeah. You need to find your own fucking secret inside. On the inside. 30 years later, you talk to somebody that worked for you and they're like, I found the secret inside. And you just shoot snot out your nose and walk <laughs> away. He's like, God damn it. And then really? you just scream at the fruit pie. And they're like, my whole life has been a lie. Was this worse than Mortal Kombat Annihilation? Yes. Yes, it was. It was yes, awful. I hated was. this movie. So yes, the it was. worst movie that we did was a Larry Kasanoff movie, and we thought, this is a bar set so low, and the man scorched through it and it shattered his own low bar. Yeah. Like it was made of glass. Yeah. No, it's, it is worse than Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which is really hard to do because mm-hmm. I wanted to fucking punch my face open. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, kicked you in the box. I am going to ask something that I don't want you guys to just snap and react to. Sure. I want you to really think about this and answer honestly. Well, how long do we have to think about? I mean, is as there a time limit? As long as you need to answer it correctly. Okay. Is this really bottom 10 worthy? Bottom 10 worst movies of all time. Bottom 10. It's number seven. No, I don't think so because I have seen other ones that I'm like, what? What just happened there? Like, I, I can't even put together a consistent plot line, mm-hmm. or I have no idea what the character motivations are. At least with this one, I had those two things. I right. I understood what was happening throughout the film. It was just really poorly delivered, uh-huh. and Super. it was shitty animation, and the jokes fell flat, and all of that. But. I, I'm going to say that there are way worse out there. Absolutely. Ja- Sam, you want to go? I start naming them. 
Uh, Monster Go Go. That's my next question. Is it worse than Monster Go Go? No, absolutely not? not. Because it's the exact same thing yeah. that Jackie just said. And there is lots of films like that. Uh, I would even put uh, Zindi the Indian Boy, Zindi the Pond Boy. <laughs> Zindy the Dead Boy. Uh, Zindy the Dead Boy um, into that list. Uh, Zindy the Dead Boy didn't cost $65 million. No, it dollars. didn't. But that's not the qualification how much a fucking movie cost and whether it's good or not. I don't sure. give a shit about that. Whether it was smart or not, that's a different topic. Okay. Uh, I, I would put uh, Birdemic, uh, Saving Christmas, uh, Manos uh, above this, all because Jackie is 100% correct. It is a very dumb story, and its rules can't exist within itself, uh, but there is a plot of something, and character motivations, and everything that she totally dived into. Uh, top 100? absolutely, fucking lootly it's that bad, but top 10? Well, uh, come on. Top 100, I'm, I'm going to go with you on that one. Yeah, yeah, it's a top 100 bad movie. Problem but. is, you didn't name nine other ones, or ten other ones, say, right? The Bed That Eats? Uh, no, Death Bed the Bed that Eats is a fucking masterpiece. So I liked Hindi <laughs> better. I liked. I did not like Birdemic better. I did not like Monster A Go Go better. But bottom ten, it's not the worst movie I've ever seen. But bottom ten, I'm fine with. I I I completely disagree. I don't even know what's bottom twenty. You if you have a plot, uh, there's twenty movies that do not for sure. But I've, they might be less wrong because they don't have a plot mm. and maybe that's the thing that makes this so bad is that it's wrong on every level it's wrong it's wrong <laughs> yeah you don't put a s and m nazi in no. a children's movie yeah. it's wrong i don't know i don't know uh either way um yeah number seven is where it's at so that's two that disagree with its current placement um and one that does so final recommendations uh checky no, don't do this. Okay. Just just don't. It okay. was so fucking painful, and I hated it so much, mm -hmm. and it just was so damn offensive, and it made me so mad. I just know. Okay. There's no way in hell I would ever expect somebody to watch this, even even with all the things that we know about it. Like, I, I'm not going to lie. When Sam first started telling us some of the interesting details about this movie that were behind it, it made me interested to watch it, but... <laughs> Then when I watched it, I was like, fuck you, fuck you, Sam, fuck you, you fuckity fuck. Okay, it was it was painful for you. It was very yeah. painful. I hated Star it. Star is born for you. Um, I love the Star is born. I don't, oh. you, I don't think you understand the analogy, but go ahead. Oh, I do. I'm just defending my pick one more time. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I no, just don't. Okay, Sam. It's hard to say do because it's so bad. Uh huh. But I think it is bottom ten. And if you want to do a bottom 10, this is in there. I, it's one of the worst <laughs> movies I've ever seen. Uh -huh. It's not enjoyable. And one of the things that makes it really unenjoyable is that bad CGI is very difficult to watch. It is. It is. You're and right. And mm -hmm. this is difficult to watch because of how bad the animation is. This is not for everyone. Like, if you don't have a problem with bad CGI, you might actually have fun with this. I have a problem with it. It made it very difficult for me but, to watch. Let, let me uh, phrase it this way for you, uh, Sam. If they had done cell animation, would you have maybe a different opinion of it? If they had done cell animation this bad, it would have been a drawing that you couldn't see. That's exactly right, which is basically unviewable. Not a it's, thing. It would have been just as unviewable in a different way. Yeah, maybe. I guess. Yeah. And that's difficult because I would have to see that. Yeah. I would have to see that to go, oh, that's definitely impossible this to watch. This is the worst painter that has ever lived who yeah. did this. Uh, this is the this is the the quality of the animation in this is uh, sort of a perfect parallel would be wrong film stock, wrong exposure mm -hmm. on an eight millimeter camera. Yeah. And it's just hard to look at. It's 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 there's a lot of digital barf in this. Like it looks yeah. like barf sometimes. Uh, I am not going to uh, put an opinion because it's a fucking kids movie and I can't figure out what kids will or will not like. They won't like Nazi. SM. I don't know that. I don't think I don't the fucking kids know that are listening to our podcast. No, they aren't. But so this movie is for about children, adults? Jackie. What about adults? Uh, Do you think if, adults should watch this? If you this? have a kid, uh, I can't tell you what you should and shouldn't do. I, I can tell you one thing. If you don't have a kid, you shouldn't watch this movie uh, because it's not for you. But here's the deal. 
I thought I could declare what was good and what was not good until that fucking Alvin and the Chipmunks the Road Ship movie came out. I didn't see and that. And I was like, oh, there's no kid in the world that's going to like that. And then Jackie goes sees it and t- it starts talking about these kids singing and dancing in the aisle and having a great time. And it's like, dude, I fuck, I'm never going to make a determination on a kid's movie ever again. So I refuse. I'm still playing by those rules. <laughs> ah, you broke your own rules when you voted on the other ones we talked about. Ah. I'm making new ones. <laughs> yeah, you may as well write this shit. I don't. <laughs> I make it up as I go. <laughs> Maybe you should just poop on a piece of paper and then whatever it looks like, that's your next movie. Uh, that's what we just watched, Jackie. That is really, honestly, what we just watched. Uh, so there you go. Um, yeah. Next week, Jackie, it's your pick. We're back to you in the rotation. Uh, I'm assuming you're pretty blanking. No, I am. Oh! I am hoping for a road trip for Rampage. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, You know, there's been some debate on whether or not it should be on this show, so we're going to go see it. Yeah, we are going to see Rampage. And then hopefully... I'm jacked about Rampage. Hopefully I don't have to come up with a backup plan because I don't have one like usual. Yeah. But uh, I'm I'm really excited to go see Rampage. Um, I saw a preview for it recently again and within the last couple of days, and I thought it looked hilarious so i i am okay. super stoked about that Dwayne the rock johnson will be on the show for the fourth time i think i want to say uh three fast and furiouses and uh maybe something else do we do another Dwayne movie it seems like we should probably uh, should have done another Dwayne movie the rock is so damn funny uh he's awesome and he's uh, been in some total shit movies the, there are a but lot i of love it shit movies we didn't do San Andreas. Oh, we yeah, we thought about it. Oh, we talked about it bad. though. Yeah, it yeah. sucks too bad. And a lot of the other ones that he does aren't worth doing. Yeah, yeah. and then the ones on the front end are actually sort of like the Rundown and mm-hmm. uh, Walking t- Standing Tall, the remake Walking or whatever. Tall. Walking Tall yeah. remake are charming enough that they're not episodes right, or anything right, like that, right? Yeah, so. Either way, we'll find out about Rampage. Uh, it's it's probably still at your dollar theater, so go check that out this week and uh, enjoy it along with us. Also, remember the task, listener. <laughs> go to the website. Or else we put you on the field. Uh, get to the chopper. Visit us at www.stinkermadness.com. Follow Stinker Madness on Twitter at Stinker Madness. Please rate and review us on iTunes and Stitcher. Thank you for listening and get to the chopper.